Hi, my name is Dan Grumley. Hola, me llamo Daniel Grumley, and I'm a West Side guy. Graduate of Litchfield Elementary and Awafria High School. I've worked at Kofa High School and Awafria High School as a teacher, and for the last 12 years, I've been an administrator at Desert Edge High School. Schools that are very much like Dysart High School. So who am I? I'm a guy who's found out that the most important part of being an administrator, being a teacher, being an education is relationships. So students, I look forward to finding out what your wants and needs and hopes and dreams are. Teachers, I look forward to figuring out how I can support you so that you can nurture and grow our students. Parents and guardians, I look forward to working with you so that we can reach the goals that you want your students to reach. And neighbors and community members, I look forward to making Dysart High School an asset in this area. Finding good teachers. The first element is to keep the good ones you have and coach up those that you can. The second one is visibility in the community on social media or wherever else you need to be, at job fairs, etc., to get good teachers. The third one is you've got to have a quality screening process that brings you good applicants and then screens out those applicants as you go through the interview process and then some sort of work product to see how they can actually teach. And finally, finally, relationships. You only get good teachers if you attract good teachers. Dysart High School is the best high school to be at, and we need to let them know that. So what do we do if a teacher's not meeting expectations in the classroom? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to start with a robust district improved, approved improvement plan, and we need to take the teacher through that process. So we need to use admin, an instructional coach if we have one, teachers, department chairs, and other professionals if needed in order to take this person through the improvement plan. This improvement plan needs to be well thought out. We need to have activities, we need to have benchmarks that are going to help this teacher to actually improve. And it's different for every teacher, so there is no one cut out cookie cutter plan that we can use. But as a group, we need to come to that in collaboration with the teacher and then we go through that. So what happens if the teacher doesn't meet the expectations of the improvement plan? Well, at that point, we need to go through the formal process of having the teacher removed from his or her position. It's not an enviable job for us to do, but it is necessary because as a former AEA president at the Awafria District Education Association, I can assure you that we don't want bad teachers in the classroom.